Well, the Shindig is, is uh, going to be, I think, uh, one of the most spectacular uh, social events, uh, fundraising events uh, in Middle Tennessee in quite some time. The who's who, the movers and the shakers are, are all being invited. Uh, and it's for just one of the most worthy causes that, that I'm familiar with, and that's the Tennessee Baptist Children's Home. Uh, you're going to have people coming and uh, visiting here on the George Shen property and George Shen's heart has opened up to the home and to these children and house parents and so we're all coming together. We're grateful for uh, George and Denise Shen and for them opening up their home uh, for the Shindig uh, for kids, the first one, and uh, we're excited about that. We're excited about the opportunity that it gives to share with the community as a whole, what's happening with the children in the Tennessee Baptist Children's Home and how it is changing their life and how events like this can make uh, an eternal impact on these children. I've been blessed to be involved with a number of charities in Nashville, but this one's unique. It's unique because you're you're making a difference in the lives of individuals, uh, individuals that you know that someday could go out and do great things. George and Denise Shin both feel that they have been very blessed by God and they give back at every opportunity that they can. When they see a need, when they see a legitimate need, they look into it. If it's within their means, they give. So the mission of the Children's Home that has resonated with us is to give children a safe place to live, um, to help them realize they are people of worth, that they are people of value, and they have much to contribute uh, to the world, and, and it's our job to help them realize that and to help them provide that kind of place for them. My um, four brothers and sisters and I were raised there. We arrived in 1969, driving down Franklin Road with cow pastures everywhere, scared to death and it became a place that saved our lives. It saved our lives in the way that we had come from a very abusive, neglected, and abandoned background. Like most of the children, 40 years later, you hear the same stories. But what it taught us was a great deal of faith of how to handle problems in life by be believing and knowing there is something bigger and better than ourselves, and that was God. So when people say, you know, why do you, why should you help? Because you really do change lives. And I'm an example of that, and so is my family. Come along with me. Let me show you something that perhaps you haven't seen before, and in a way in which perhaps you haven't seen it before. You will get to hobnob with the, with the finest that there is um, socially in Middle Tennessee, and what a great night it's going to be. And when you go home and put your head on the pillow, you will sleep very well and say, God, thank you that you invited me to that function.